Hey, today I'm going to show you how to create a spire graph effect using the transform each command in Adobe Illustrator. So go ahead and open up Adobe Illustrator and what we're going to do is create a couple examples using the simple command. I don't know if you may remember, some of you may remember spire graph, uh, maybe the late 80s, early 90s. Uh, you basically could create all these kind of designs with it, different shapes and uh, with the ballpoint pen and these different kind of uh, shapes like a, that would be preset that would come with the box. Now with this example, go ahead and click and hold under the rectangle tool and go to the polygon tool. If you click and drag and press up, it'll, I'm, I'm still holding under the mouse, uh, press up on the keyboard, up arrow, or the down arrow reduces the number of sides, up arrow increases the number of sides on the polygon. So if you just create a rectangle like that, I'll just show you one uh, quick example. If you go, once this is selected, go to object, transform, transform each. And what you can do is experiment with the horizontal. Uh, if it's a positive number, it'll move over to the right and the vertical and it'll go up if it's in the negative it'll go down if it's in the positive so something like that and then you can change the angle because you want it to rotate a little bit and just hit copy now make sure you don't deselect this next one because the next step is pretty simple all you do is press control D or on the Mac you do command D and just hold on to it and then it just creates that effect like so alright so that's the um, one example with a rectangle, you can also, let's say you can do a star here, and object, transform, transform each. Make sure you don't select that one because it'll just do the same exact effect. And let's change the settings a little bit. Uh, let's say rotate it a little bit differently. and you can click the preview before and after it'll show you and then just press copy and then hold down control and D alright it creates those patterns kinda creates an abstract pattern you could click and drag around that and alt click it or option click it on the Mac and duplicate it so if you want to kinda create some abstract patterns like that using this technique you don't have to also use these preset shapes like a rounded rectangle star tool again you can press the up arrow down arrow on the keyboard if you want to increase so this would be a good example of a spire graph too but you don't have to use these all right you can also create your own custom ones so you could also for example uh, create something with a pen tool all right so I'll just create the pen tool so I'll select it click click and drag I'm going to reset that angle, click and drag. Notice I'm clicking on the most recent anchor point to reset that angle. Click and drag like so, click it again. Alright, so I have a custom shape here. And again, same thing, just select the selection error there. Object, transform, transform each. And you can do preview, let's say... That over just a little bit, click copy, and there we go. There's that pattern that comes out. All right, so that's one way to do a spire graph effect. It's a little bit different than the actual one, obviously, but it's just duplicating, rotating, and moving those shapes, whether they're uh, custom shapes or preset shapes. Uh, just a simple technique to create some abstract backgrounds. Thanks.